ESN. ESN Reserve. This is ESN Reserve. ESN Reserve. ESN Reserves. ESN Reserves. Three badge, third badge, third badge, ESN Reserve. In case if they show you, some people are parading video of some criminal that gather in a community in Imo. Look at discipline ESN. They have nothing to do closer to anybody's house. So that if you come closer to them, nobody will fall victim. Very well organized. This is ESN reserves. ESN reserves. IPOB ESN reserves. Thank you. And I go Reserves. ESN Reserves. ESN in Parade. We are back. We are back. They cut us off, but we are back. We are back. And before we go there, we must show our people the stupidity of their own. If you see your brother or your sister here, you know your, your, you know your brother has become a fool. I think you can see the difference. <laughs> That's why we are, you know, look at the picture there on the screen. Oga <laughs> Waga not am you only vigilante, IPOB vigilante, ESN. Look at the picture. Look at the Berima and his gang. The worst part is that they do it closer to house, setting the community up. Do you understand? Now, if you see your brother here, if you see your brother here in this place, or your sister, or your mother, or your aunt, the person is a fool. Cutting me off will not solve the problem. Do you know the reason? Everything have guidelines. Everything have guidelines. That's why we fought Nigeria. We fought with Nigerian government, but it was called genocide. Do you know the reason why? They failed the law of war. Nigeria failed the law of war. War is not fight anyhow. Freedom fighting is also not fight anyhow. You must fight under guidelines. Because people must gather and give you freedom. They confuse and say, take your freedom by yourself. <laughs> and you think you and the Nigeria can discuss Biafra and get it. People must come in. There must be middle man. Only you and Nigeria can never divide. You can never. It is not legitimate. Do you understand? Now, Nigerian government, 
left the army of Biafra, they were busy bombarding the communities, bombarding, uh, bombarding the citizens, not army, civilians, in the IDP camps, in the um, churches, in the markets, in the, what is it called, schools. So, the issue is that if Nigeria want to fight army and control the land, they will confront the army. But they left the army and they were still killing the citizens. It is called genocide. Because what is war is that you will kill the army and they have con take control of the civilians. Hence, you conquer the army. Hence, you defeat the army. The civilians are under your control. That is called war. Do you understand? The same thing with freedom fighting. It has guidelines. If you choose um, self-determination, like IPOB choose, expect that you will not break prison custodies, detention facilities to free your own. You will know that. That is under self-determination. You will not break prison yards to free your own. You will go through court. It is the part IPOB choose. When you are being provoked, you will not pick up arm, but you have the right to self-defense. Do you understand? Picking up arm is different from self-defense. Self-defense is a natural law. Now, if you have army in your land, if you declare army, you are out of self-determination. If you declare armed struggle, you are out of self-determination. Now, if you were in self-determination and they were killing you, at the point of where you must maintain self-determination, you go into armed struggle. All your activities, all your good, good activities or positive activities under self-determination for years have been nullified. Immediately you go into arms. Automatically nullified. Do you know what it looks like? You started afresh. Now you understand. <laughs> you started afresh. Just like somebody that is going facing trial in the high court and um, the barrister filed a no case submission. No case submission means that you will only take plea. Remember that I, stop, I stopped in primary four first term, right? No case submission means that you will only take plea. Plea is, are you guilty or not? You say, I'm not guilty. On capital offense now. Right? I'm not guilty, my lord. And the court clerk will turn to the judge and the, to the magistrate and say, uh, okay, we are at the high court, sorry. I am not talking about reminding. Let us go to the high court. If they fail, your lawyer file no case submission, it means you will not go through cross of examination where they used to ask you yes or no. They will ask you like, on the 25th of July, 2022, by 7 a.m., were you at home or not? <laughs> it is called cross of examination. You don't have any explanation. But after 7, after 7, I, I went to the store to buy matches. No. It is either yes or no. So if your lawyer finds case submission, you will not go through it now, but it works two ways. Right? Now, the two ways is that the, you may be going, the, the, your case may be going on, may be going on, there is, there may be an argument that the state council, or that is the prosecutor, will throw in to the court that may even Keep your lawyer aside. And he will demand that that very no case submission should be open. So that you will make statements. You will talk in the court. So immediately that very no case submission, that is where the point I want to pick that took me to this place. Just pick the point. Immediately the very no case submission have been... Um, what is it called? How do they use it there? Bounced. 
yes, have been bounced, automatically your case starts afresh. Because there are stages they crossed whereby you are supposed to say something. You didn't say it because of no case submission. So if eventually the no case submission was bounced, your case starts afresh. You will not take plea afresh. The same thing with what we are doing. If IPOB eventually move away from self-determination into armed struggle, remember that self-defense is different from armed struggle. Self-defense are being carried are being carried on by the civilians, armless one. How to defend their life? Immediately you will declare army. It is no longer self-defense. You are now war. People don't understand. Army does not go on self-defense. Army goes to war. It's only civilians that goes to self-defense. So already in the battle, we have the right for self-defense. Right? <laughs> Do you understand? And we have been applying it. Self-defense. That is where we neutralize the Nigerian government. They don't have the capacity to start telling the world they are at war with us. No. They cannot say it because IPOB do not declare army. So they cannot present anything to the world. They are invaders in our land. There is no reason that validate their existence here. Until they created these people that validated their existence. Do you understand? These people they created, they say they are fighting war in Biafra land with the Nigerian army. They did not say we are fighting war with the Nigerian army at the boundary in Benue, at the river Benue. Do you understand? They said they are at war in Biafra land. The same thing they brought to Ojuku. Ojuku tried to drive them away. Even as they were here, Ojuku tried to enter Ore. From there to enter their land. Because you must move war to the land of your enemy. Because they brought war to us. Now, these people are inviting war. When IPOB have moved war away, that is why, because of what the government is using them to do, they now have the ground to declare Operation Udoka. If you come down, you march on your leg. They, they cannot go to that Operation Udoka and stop it, no. They will gather somewhere now and start shouting. When they shout and go, the army will come and occupy that community. After the Mbano incident, the, there is a very new taking point in Enugu Potakot Expressway by after Omar had entering Okigwe. That is the longest taking point. The longest. Immediately it happened in Mbano. They come. They may, because they are ready. They have army. They have no job. So what they need is a noise somewhere. They will come and occupy there. A noise somewhere. They will come and occupy there. These are places IPOB removed them from. By exposing them. And maintaining civility. Maintaining self-determination. We neutralize them. Because they will only have ground to be in our land killing when we pick up arms. But as far as we are armless... We launch ESN and send them in the bush against Flanny Hesman terrorists because we are intelligent. That's why you can never see ESN parade in the communities because Nigerian army will come after their communities. Do you understand? If you declare, if you are into self-determination like IPOB and then Namdi Khan, you will be expecting to go to court. If you are into self-determination, if you are in civil protest, if they kill you, you will not pick up arms. That's why people be resorted that it is not cowardice to fight for, for uh, to implement self, um, sit at home. No, it is not cowardice. It is in line with what we choose, self-determination. Then when people was using the name of IPOB to enforce it at home, we told them, no, it is against what IPOB choose. Therefore, it is against Namde Kano in detention. It doesn't matter your emotion. It doesn't matter how you think it will work. No, there is guideline guiding the, the rule or the, the, the option IPOB choose to fight for, it, for freedom. We don't fight anyhow because those that gave us that option, they are watching us. 
they are watching us so we maintain it that's why our lawyers was busy securing victories in court because IPOB that in the canoe lease was maintaining self determination. Had we deviated and go into armed struggle, automatically our lawyers will fail. Our activities gave great ways for our lawyers. Even visitation of Nam the canoe in detention, activities of IPOB create ways for invitation for people to visit him. Activities of IPOB under self determination is the one that makes that created chance for the personal lawyer uh, doctors to see him had ipob deviated and go into arms the lawyers will not have chance uh, the lawyers will not be allowed to see nam the Kano two times a week the lawyers will not even see even the siblings nobody will see him he will be very very far away from us the dss will change him from the detention facility to another place they will have the authority because you have declared army. If you, if IPOB declare army, they have no right and they have no ground to call on UN to call Nigeria to free them. It is impossible. That's what they want to use it to drive us away. Immediately you declare army. That's why we make sure we cut off their hand from telling you they are in charge of IPOB. If you declare army in the name of IPOB, the whole international community will stand still. Do you know why? If you call them, they'll tell you you have army. So your army should go and free him. People does not even know that we even we knew what we are doing. They thought that um, as they are confused, so IPOB is also confused. We are just fighting for freedom. Anyhow, we look. Don't you know that even offices have guidelines? Shops have guidelines. Houses, residents have uh, rules that guides it. Streets have rules. Main road, driving. Even if you are walking on the leg, it have rules. You don't act any high because you don't walk in high because you have leg. Even talking have rules that guide them. Even as we are media. Do you understand? So, freedom fighting, the option IPOB choose, we go to court. But the armed struggle that Simon Bairema choose and his gang have nothing to do with court. But do you know what? You always see them. If immediately they hear a date of court of Nam de Khan, which is under self determination, they will tell you they give it at home. They will enforce it at home. Is it no complication? Enforcement is against the court date already. Enforcement is against the court. Because court is democratic process. Court is political solution. So, hence, you call for enforcement. You are fighting Nam de Kano's court. Hence, you call for enforcement. That's why people don't even know that we know what we are doing. That's why we don't enforce it at home. We started it at home when there was no ESN. So, nobody enforced it at home. 2017, there was no ESN, but it was held. 2018, nobody enforced it, no ESN, it was held. 2019, nobody enforced it, it was held. Right? And so, that's why we are, 2020, ESN came by December, but there was sit at home May 2020. Now, 2021, there was ESN, but it was not enforced. To the extent that we call for 30th May on Monday because 30th was on Sunday. Now they can shifted it to Monday, 31st, 2021. That is the video, the voice note that the criminal Eberima used to deceive some people where our leader was saying everybody must sit at home on Monday because that is the first time our people was hearing, was expressing Monday. Our leader said, our people are too religious. Therefore, we are shifting the, the sit at home that should be on Sunday. That is, 30th May to 31st. So if you see them cut off the voice of Nam Dekan, where he was talking about Monday sit at home, you may be surprised. You say, when did he talk about sit at home? It was because he shifted 30th May 2021 to 31st, Monday. Oh, yeah, course, no, again. <laughs> I will let me address him before he will get out. This is the, the argument we need, 
not uh, you come, you say, uh, uh, though uh, he asks, you don't have sense. It's an insult, but he's here to listen to me without sense, right? But let me confront him. He said, you don't have sense. Since you started going to zoo court, what have you achieved? You did not put question mark, but I am putting question mark there. Right? Now, on the 20th of December, 2015, listen, you, know, you did not talk about disobedience to court order. Because before I address you, I will separate government from court. Disobedience to court order is not court. It is government. Now, you are asking us of our achievements in court. Right? Now, all IPOB family members that have been kidnapped, we have been going to court to free them. Do you know that we achieved those their victories in court? Did we break prison yet? No. Then let us go to Nandikano's victories. Do you know that Madubugu, Benjamin Madubugu, um, what we see, Chinebira won't do it. Bright Chimese was case mate of Nandikano or to Nandikano. Why is it that they no longer go to court? It is an achievement, our achievement in court. We did not shoot gun. Are you aware? Now we continue. 20th of December 2015. Justice Ademola, you are asking us our achievements in court just because we are fighting under self determination. So we must achieve something in court. Justice Ademola of the Federal High Court, Abuja, discharged in Nandekano unconditionally. We are not talking about disobedience to court order. We are counting our achievements, right? Unconditionally. But Nigerian government refused. Now, automatically, the very detention warrant of Funam can become null and void. Do you know that what Nigeria moved to the court of justice, John Soho, was null and void detention warrant? Because automatically, Justice Ademola has signed the very detention warrant. He made the decision on the canal. But we even accepted it in the court of John Soho. Because John Soho accepted such a warrant. Do you know on the process that John Soho wanted to go into secret trial with Nam the canal? Nam the canal said no to secret trial. At the end, Honorable Justice John Soho of the Federal High Court Abuja decided Nam the canal condition in 2015, 2016. Are you counting our achievements? Now, the case of Unam de Kano was moved to the court of Justice Ahmed Mohammed in December 2016. Honorable Justice Ahmed Mohammed, a Fulani man, he decided, he, he told DSS that I have warned you to stop bringing this kind of case to this honorable court and I, am, I have insulted you to go and obey the previous court, court rulings. Rulings have X. He said rulings, S. What are the rulings? The ruling of Justice Ademar and the ruling of Justice, Justice John Soho. Do you understand? Now, DSS went home. Uh, that is to say, now they can defeated them. Do you know what they did? You are asking us for, asking us for achievement. I continue. They now took the case of Unam Kano to the court of Bintamo, Fatima. Okay, let me put him justice. Uh, yes, put him honorable. Honorable Justice Fatima bin Tamo If you if you see how my mouth is doing, you will know that we are filled. You can't remember the names of this woman. You see how I'm mentioning their names? We don't, there is no book to tell you this is a battle we are. Before you come to confront us, you will prepare. We studied um, superior argument on Radio Biafra and the, the, in the faculty of critical thinking. I continue. Honorable Justice Fatima bin Tamatalanyako granted Nandekano high conditional bail upon the two unconditional releases by Honorable Justices in the name, in the persons of Honorable Justice Ademola and Honorable Justice John Soho. Thank you. Do you understand? Now, Bin Tanyaku granted him bail, high conditional bail. That was to say, Bin Tanyaku ended up jailing in Namdekano in his home. He will be in Afaluku under jail. He will not be in the midst of more than 10 people. He will not address the press, that is, calling Radio Biafra. 
right? He will not broadcast on radio. He know that they, they will collect him in his house. They gave these conditional bells. Then this three men shot him must be a senator. One, one must be a Jewish rabbi. Two, I'm telling you our achievements. Two, three, they, they, they must be the Igbo business billionaire living in Abuja. They will drop 100 million naira each, and we met up with these bad conditions. We move. Then, all the argument that can enter, I will be a fool, a idiot. What argument? I'm lying. Direct or train be special. I'm lying. I'm with him. Nature. I'm all you got. Sapa akuko. Akuko again. Mo esa akuko. Seven years. I sabi ma akuko. Man, e kure e kuro chobi e juma jo. I say chere kam. Muga go to toilet. Mpa ya sige chere kam puta. Kam sa kam sa yun. Eji ma akuko mba ya uruba. Do you understand? Now, at the end, they came to kill Nam the Kano. Now we continue. After he escaped, they now kidnapped him in 2021. I, I just want to rush it. I don't want to waste there because we are still uh, analyzing some issues in this program. You know, they cut the other one off. I come back again. Now, And the, this current one, 2021, they said Nam John Bell, he will come and stand his trial in court. Right? Now they brought him. He defeated them. Do you know the court they brought him to? What are the one and what, what which one and did they bring him to court with? 2021. People want to know our achievement. Then I want to take him there. Which warrant did Nigeria bring presented in court in 2021 against Namdekan? Now, what are the charges? And the charges started which year? All the charges of first amended five can charges, seven amended can charges, 15 amended can charges. Which year did this started from? It all started 2018. Now ask yourself. The bell they said Namdekan no jump bell was a warrant of 2015 which his bell was granted to him 2017 and the attack is out 2017 now why was it that the very warrant he was granted bail on was not present in court in 2021 they brought amended count charges for hiding the very warrant they said now they can't jump bail he refused to come and face the trial means that now they cannot have destroyed that very warrant the very warrant is unpresentable that's why in 2021 they discussed with bin tanyaku that they will not present that warrant in court that they will be coming with amended camp charges and binta was welcoming it because the very warrant binta granted bail if it is raised in court they will remember the attack in nam the cannon's house in afaruku so therefore they hide it behind they came up with amended camp charges and all these charges started from 2021 uh, from 2018 to 2021. From 2018, you miss Sanam the Kano. He did so certain. From 2018, you miss Sanam the Kano. 2020 to 2021, you miss Sanam. There was no charge of 2017. Only one charge from 2015. All about the transmitter. It was, it is the 15 of the 15 American charges. It's like the last one. All of them, those charges were from 2021. But they say uh, from 2018 to 2021. But they said he jumped bail in 2017. They hide the warrant. Now you ask us our achievement. We destroyed that warrant. Uh, have you understand our achievement? That very particular warrant of 2015, we have destroyed it. Now they came up with amended can charges. What did we achieve? Let me use, uh, we secure victory in UN. Right now, jumping up bell was destroyed in Omaha verdict 19th of January 2022. They said, None can't jump bell that one destroyed. Have you ever heard about he jump bell again? Have you ever had it for how long now? Have you ever had it? Then we continue June 2022, UN. 
freed him. Nigeria still held him. And also freed IPOB in detentions. These are our achievements. Right? Now we continued. I am giving account of our court victories. Imecha, you give me account of your the killings of our people, the killings of pregnant women, the, kill, the destruction of Okro, the flogging of our children, telling them it is sit at home, the, trauma, the flogging of our teachers, telling them the killings of our people in the name of sit at home, enforcement, burning down of KK, burning down of motorcycle. You will tell us the account where it affected Nigerian government. You will come and account for it. I am giving you account of our court proceedings from 2015. Because he seemed to know a man I won't die. A man I won't die. Living die. Walking die. I don't know. Bag. When you see an epoch. Naturally, from God, I stop in primary four. He goes to secondary school. He gave me mad people. First time, I go come second time. My third. First time, I never met you in December. Every day in September, met you in December. Back age from Galagos. Now December, yeah, twenty-six. Go and pay now. Gazom now upon a Lagos. Oma no ande biare obuya. Kaha la kara kamni. Ma can pay na bamba na gere him pay a zom na lawyer. Zom na law. Yeah, me yeah dandi ranante. Ha gaze kaha la mni. Na shop. Na sambor kam na gua oko. Na gafi na moto blam no. Mana go sambor. Ihe de na moto ana ma gua. Ihe de na kato nungua yani ne mga go chaya complete. Ne nyo mwem dictation. Na asaya. Today had a surprise. Na ha chore elam ni yi majo. Thank you. Thank you. Town hall meeting ayme chila 2014. Ke ebedi mahane eme. Na amali elu na 2020. Ya mabe bera yikili ni ime. Yeah, in Finland, in my ass, a criminal. So he now told them, No, I am not violent. So, I will prove it. He now gathered some idiot. They came to clean his image. To tell them he's searching for a referendum. How can somebody that declare armed struggle, launch army, fight for a referendum? I don't know. And do you fight two ways? You must pick one. You declare armed struggle, you have no business with referendum. That is why, if you see anybody that gathered there, you know the person is a fool. Also, the Aurora developed village, you know, you, is a fool. And the, most of them are politicians sent them abroad. Like I told you that most of them that used to donate money to Ginger Yu in their, their uh, uh, fundraising, the money come from the East. I told you that all the people politicians send outside all the political boys they sent outside that they are still in control of them when they tell him to call for fundraising they will send money to these their criminals in abroad they will be donating 200 dollars 200 pounds 400 pounds 400 dollars 500 pounds 600 dollars Money from most of them, money from who, um, Uguani, money from uh, Devo Mahi, money from Obiano. After donate, when they donated, they will now motivate you. You will now join them to donate and they will return the money and they will now use it to sponsor killings of our own here. So, what are you celebrating in a hall in Finland? That cannot be can't let let me show you one. I wish oh oh that my video is not here. My video in a bunny over that five thousand people. If you bring that town hall meeting, although I have joined, have you not seen it? I posted it. My video of my evangelism. Or is it the one I do in, in field where they are playing ball? I divide the field into two. You don't see crowd. There is a, an evangelism I went to whom I had to do. The people that are there. In that very field, I all the canopies filled. Do you know how many thousand? I gather evangelism injunction. I you see inside the market, I gather people. Not that we go in a group, only me, only me, one man, only me, not a group. I, I will gather. If I want to gather, I will gather. Do, do you know the key? I will gather people. No, 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 no. 
You will park your vehicle and be listening. If you are passing with your motorcycle, you will park. You will come and listen. That is how all of you will join. Before we know it, there will be a very big crowd there. Do you understand? So, they don't even know that even soup you are, you are cooking. You cannot be cooking at you put it on bono. It doesn't happen. You don't cook or bono and the You don't cook or bono and the You can cook or bono negus. You can cook it with uh, the fellow uh, type or uh, like okra. You can cook it alone. If you put cook at and put it to obono, it have you have destroyed the soup. Do you understand? The same way with freedom fighting, it have options. When we told them, we make sure you choose your part. He says, I'm struggle. Do not come closer to court issue. Do not call for sit at home. Sit at home is for somebody fighting under self-determination. That is sit at home. That's why if they call for their own, they will enforce it because they are under gun, under armed struggle. Now, if you are fighting under armed struggle, you have no business with referendum. Do you understand? So that is it. There are rules. That's why when we are being provoked, we call the leadership. They said they remain focused, remain resolute. They knew that we are human beings. If we do not do anything, at least we throw stones. But they will control us, we hold, because there is a path we choose, self-determination. We do not fight for our freedom alone. We started to fight to clean the faces of our fathers. So that we can present Biafra boldly. The faces of our father cannot be blackmailed as rebels. And we jump it and go and start demanding for freedom of Biafra. Don't you know our own faces cannot be looked up to, onto? Because our faces also is black. Because the faces of our father that gave birth to us have been blackmailed with the rebel. So what we did was to come with self-determination. So that we can clean the faces of our fathers, thereby clean our own face, and we will become presentable to the world. That's why they grant us, they grant us asylum now in the name of IPUB. That's why we submit protest letter, they will give us approval. That's why we protest in UN, we protest in EU, we protest everywhere. Before, we do not have that grant. Had we started with the gun, we cannot have that grant. And Britain will occupy all this position, which they occupy since 7 to 70. We was not able to reach the international communities as supposed. We were sending people to go, whereby Nigeria bribed some of them. Some of them do not deliver the message while our people was dying. This time around, our God systematically, by using Nigerian government to be torturing us, then our God pushed our people away from this very land for them to go and survive. Some of them do not know that it is for this very time for them to rise up, gather together. It is not just for gone, no. It is to gather together and go to German government and present Biafra. Not send white man. You go by yourself. You present it. They deny the Ojugu this thing. The British block it. Today we are there. We want to confront U.S. government. We go there. We want to confront EU, uh, UK themselves. We go there. But then, 67 to 70, Ujuku was sending message. They were seizing it. British was passing their own. But now, our God did that. We, are, we will be in that country. Reside there. Then, prepare before now. So that we can be confronting this government. That they do not allow our fathers to confront them. They were only here on defensive war. This time around, we, want, we are confronting them. And that is the weak part of Nigeria. Because they use it as a weak point against Ojuku. This time around, we are now using it as a weak point against them. Because after we have presented the image of Nigeria to the world, they no longer have good image. And thereby, they have no grant to blackmail IPOB again. And IPOB have overtaken them by maintaining self-determination and we are now presentable to the world because we refuse to buy their idea of retaliation.
Chineke mere mebere. Umu mwona wanyo ku. Thank you. Umu mwona wanyo ku. Chineke mekure mebere. We must continue. Na landiro ni yi. Ena alo agu no budogi. Umu ano mpama. Ehu no goye na babolo. Nde na babolo. Do they love playing free kick? In Bobola na posu ha. Or would they free kick? Na 18 yard boss. Tell me a team that love penalty. Tell me. That they say that they, they, they love people to play penalty in their post. Hey, they love open it. Oh. Hey, I love to conceive penalty. Oh. Tell me a team that loves corner kick. Tell me. Tell me a team that loves to be their opponent to be playing corner kick in their post. Tell me a team that loves close that throw in. You cannot drag the enemy away. You are dragging the enemy inside your house. You say you are intelligent. But IPOB drove the enemy away. We stood Nigerian army under confusion. Because they have no ground to kill our people. Because we refuse to launch army. Immediately we refuse to launch army. We refuse to go into armed struggle. Nigerian army becomes invaders in our land. That's why they cannot present to the world that they are at war with IPOB. You cannot be at war with civilians. That's why they told Simon, say you launch army. And you begin to say, we are at war with the Nigerian army. And when you ask them, they will tell you, it is self-defense. No, self-defense cannot be applied by military. Self-defense is by the civilians. Military goes to war. So, only civilians can be under self-defense. That is why IPOB have defeated Nigerian army. Because the Biafran civilians have the right to self-defense. But if we declare army, that is to say, we automatically declare war. Because it is no longer a civil issue. Do you understand? Because we know what we are doing. We are, we are, are we fighting blind war? It is optional, armed struggle or self-determination. Because our father has been in armed struggle, if we return back with arms, they will tell the world, that's how their father did. They are, they, are, they, are, they are rebels. That's why when we refused to do so, Nigeria ended up in disgracing themselves, calling us terrorists in their own country, while the whole world accepted us. That's where they fell. Do you understand? Had we picked gun earlier, we would be terrorists in the world. Had we not separated the man, his gang and activities, who now tell us that they are an what? system system corrupt? My system corrupt the message. Okay, let us continue neutrally like that. Who they are now telling us that they are now restoring Biafra. But they started with it, Namdekano will be freed. Now, Namdekano have not surrendered. Namdekano is still leading the battle to restore Biafra. They are now telling us that they have a leader. Do you understand the game? Now, the IPOB have been vindicated. We told you they came to drove you away, to drive you away from Namdekano. And they will now tell you they are agitating for Biafra. Do you understand? So, you cannot declare armed struggle. You kill, you enforce it at home, you declare no flight zone, you declare army. After all, that your image has been destroyed in the country that gave you citizens in Finland. You now call some fools that in abroad. You know, before, some people thought that everybody that is in abroad is a human being. No, just so that you are there. Uh, some of them are fools. You know, some don't even dream to come home. Do you understand? Uh, so, now, they gathered. He gathered some fools in, Amer in Finland. So that they, and start telling them that it is a freedom convention. So that he will send the video to Finland government and tell them that I am fighting under peacefully. He want to, he want to guide his image. But they thought it is for freedom. No, that is not gathering for Biafra. It is gathering to clean the image of Eberima so that he will continue in criminality. Anybody that declare army does not call for referendum. Anybody that go into armed struggle 
does not call for referendum. That's why if your brother or your sister is involved in that gathering, you know the person is a fool. Even if the person is the person that develops your community, is a fool. They brought like, let me charge my list. Do you understand? The person is a fool. Because you must know what you are doing. You must know what you are doing. That IPOB refused to go into war or declare army. It's not that we don't know. People that have reserves, have you now watched ESL reserves? Let me show you ESL reserves. This ESL reserve with the main ESL will not take us 10 minutes to launch army. This is third batch of ESL. I want to show you. Third badge. Third badge of ESL reserves. Just watch. Just if you watch it, go and bring that uh, gathering of criminals in Imo State. They say they are Biafra Army with stolen vehicles. That they uh, place stickers. Stickers they printed. They place it. After gathering, they will remove the sticker and they will start driving the cars. That is how they do. So look at ESN reserves. Look at ESN reserves. People were parading stolen vehicle, and you call it a vehicle you are trying to use for freedom. It is not a vehicle you recover during war. You are not at war. It is not ammunition you recover during war. No. You killed, you kidnap people, you kill them, you collect their vehicle after collecting ransom. This is ESN reserves. ESL reserves in the forest, in the bush, not in community, where you will set up the community. If you go, police will come after the community as a Bilima is working for government. You gather people around the house of people with the gun. Even criminal, if they want to escape, if they if army confront them, if army confront criminal. If army confront criminal, when you go see this, I say again. What does this idiot say? I say use this energy and organize a convention around our body. Search for fearless IPOB evangelists, or you go to my page now. You see where I gather people. Now say convention around our body. Someone is just ordinary. I gather twenty-five something thousand people. Twenty-five thousand people. I am the fearless evangelist. Away in Arabia, you keep your leg on the last of your dear friend. You confront me. I do my own physically. Search for fearless and pure evangelist. I don't know what. I'm the one preaching their friend, their friend, and both my kids. You saw me the other day in Enugu. Do you know how many crowds are there in the hall in Enugu? Is it because I don't show the faces of our people? I was only showing their leg. Or you want the one who has seen my face? I hold my microphone in their body. 2020, watch 2021, search on Facebook, search on YouTube. Do you think I'm the same with you? I said the one I do. I'm still going, next, next, I'm still going in Biafra land. It's somebody I like in the one yeah. I use that energy and gather. So when someone was telling you he's con conducting vote of no confidence against the US, he did not tell him to use it, that energy against Nigeria. When someone ever was telling you he sacked the US, you did not tell him to use that energy against Nigeria. When he told you, Radio Biafra stop speaking, you did not tell him to use that energy against Nigeria. Okay, you don't pass that level. And I have defeated you. Let me remove you. So, after presenting argument, I have destroyed it. You now tell me we pass that level. Because this is what they sent to you in the WhatsApp group. Where Nigerian government employed you, they pay you because of our pages. You hear to talk to Simon. I have confronted you, you presented argument. That's what I am here for. I confront you. He said you have passed the level. So why did you throw the argument? Because you are a dog. I cannot set me for you. I will remove you because you keep on harassing yourself. Anompama, you have passed that level. You throw your argument, man, like in the you now say pass around our bag. You should have more like a bear. I 
I told you the one I do. The boy also, you are past that level. But the man did not pass it in Finland. He gathered people in the hall. You are rejoicing. I am not presenting video of my preaching on ground which Simon has never done in his life. And he can never do it. He can never hold Biafra flag. He can never be where Biafra flag is in Biafra land. He has, he has never done it before. I told him, I, I am preaching what I'm doing. He said, yes, now they are you here. Do you, am, am I presenting video of Fulham Negado? My own video, my own video of preaching. I preach in Anambra. I just a way um, uh, um, reference that, that call at the Afro agitation. I don't watch it. I chase them away. The people that uh, was holding the oh, um, that was um, holding uh, that was uh, their own died was burning their own. They asked, they handed the mic over to me. I've been there, Bonnie. I've been to an emo. I've been to different parts of him. I've been to Mbese. I've been to Isu, um, what is it called? Itako. I've been to Orodo. I've been to, tell me where I've not been. Is it in other state? I've been to Bend. I've been to Umba. I've been to Umaya. I've been to Iguano. I've been to Uwa. Is it in Enugu? Is it in anywhere? Can somebody be another Finland? Simon got that people in US. He didn't go. He got you in Finland to clean his image of criminality in the country that gave him citizenship. They are questioning him about his activities. But to clear the image, he gather you. You think it's for Biafra freedom. Somebody that declare armed struggle, can he go for freedom? Somebody that declare army, can he go for freedom? He's not fighting on that self determination. Therefore, he has no right to freedom. He's just trying to deceive you because you are a fool. We are not in the same level with you. Oh, my mom, Pama. You see my video, you run away. With the microphone. We continue. This my page. Okay, make you know, but After now, there are videos I will post. Somebody in the on be a challenge. It's a more than a challenge. See, do your own. People will send you my videos. People will send you my videos. A more also. In the journey, I'm the kind of man. I'm with doggedness that is wrong with. Am I not dogged? Doggedness. I want you to get in Do you understand? Now back in Hebrew. She like me, my battery is down. I don't know. Well, why is it down? And the program will be ending for now. Thank you. I'm shutting it down here.